the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for a much anticipated main event. Each man comes in. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. Speed comes in different forms. In his case tonight, early on, expect to see it offensively. This is a fighter that can get after you like a viper. Yeah, he can, but he's going to need those feet to go along with it. You know, he's going to get those punches off, but he needs to get out of dodge afterwards. One of the fastest punches in the game. You see how he just turns over that hook? Stay away from those. Come on. Alvarez's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Halfway through round number one. Digs in with a good, solid uppercut after taking one. Off target with that hook. Alvarez is on the bad end of a very impressive hook up top. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Solid left. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Scores up top with a left. Alvarez is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there, pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target. But his punch is a little wise. Needs to shorten him up. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Alvarez's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Move your head. Alvarez is able to avoid that punch. A little head hunting with the right. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later and something you got to start early and stay with. <laughs> Unable to score with the hook. Keep your head, move. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing, not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Oh, keep your feet moving. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Good biting, snapping shot by Alvarez. That hook was well off the mark. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you're in control there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. Takes one, gives one. The right hand scores well. Fires off the hook. Look at that. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Move. Very nice defensive guard there. 
He's doing a really good job here of being patient. And patient with a good reason, Teddy. You can tell he's got a counterpuncher mentality. What's the key to being a counterpuncher? Well, being patient, first of all, and understanding what you have to get your opponent to do to help you. Because this doesn't work just on you. It's not like the front end where you create it. It's a little help from your opponent. He's got to come in. You got to draw him into throw a punch so you can make a miss. And then you have the alleyway to land something. He just missed that shot up top. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Nothing there on the punch by Alvarez. Good job, good job, champ. Good return fire that time. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Good counter punch. Alvarez is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. And the round comes to an end. That is it. That's it. Well, it's early on, but already a commanding lead. Banking rounds away on Teddy's scorecard, up three rounds to zip. And he ties up on the inside. He missed with that headshot. Alvarez is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Hits him in the mug with the right. Nowhere close that punch by Alvarez. Halfway through round number four. In and out. In and out. Alvarez is way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Seconds to go in the fourth. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. You're letting this thing get away from us, champ. Come on now, this is it. You gotta you know. make a fight. Round number five has arrived. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counter-punching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Left and right, left and right. Come on, baby. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Here's a moment here as you see the step back counter punch where you realize this is the sweet science, not just some raw savagery swinging out there. Look at the little subtleties here, Joe. What he does is he forces them into a position to stop the punch. And then when he stops, steps back, makes a miss, and comes right back. He clinches when he gets to the inside. Halfway through this round. Hands up! Hands up! Right. 
Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Nice work, the left hand to the head. He's all over the place. I mean, he's missing punches. Yeah, he's throwing punches, but he's missing just about everything he throws. Well, we look up top, you know, we look at the punches going array. They're going left, they're going right, they're going all over the place. But look downstairs. His feet are not set. He's falling all over the place. And guess what? The punches follow where his feet are. And this round comes to an end. In between rounds here, Alvarez's eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. And he engages in the clinch. Pace yourself. Pace yourself. You're doing good. Nice work. Nice work. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Just an excessive amount of holding here. Just much too much clinching. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Off to the side. A little swing and a miss going upstairs. Forceful jab by Alvarez. Alvarez is showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Not able to land the headshot. So he puts forth another punishing display. Alvarez is dominating this fight from start to finish, and the end is getting near. Yeah, and his opponent's looking like he's got Everlast written on his forehead. I mean, he looks like a bag. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Come on. Alvarez's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is, and specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached, they're up around his chin, his elbows in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Halfway through the seventh round. Looking good. Alvarez has got a way of just getting away from that punch. See him trying to cut down that tree with a well-placed right hand. You're taking too many punches. Hands up. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. Alvarez is proving to be elusive. Ten clicks of the talk. Fucking beautiful.
I think this is one of those examples as we start round number eight here and we look at your scorecard where things start to just go downhill against the guy. Alvarez is doing that to his opponent. And to his credit, the opponent's not only going downhill on his own, Joe, he's being given a little push. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Alvarez is leaving himself wide open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. Trade shots, he comes back with a right hand. Alvarez is on the receiving end of a very good counter punch. He's tied, he's tied, guard up. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Lands flush with the two punch combo by Alvarez. Good effective work with that straight right hand. You see him with the left of the head there? Missed the body shot. All right, breathe. Deep breath. Deep breath. Another round underway, but how many more will we see? You get the sense this fight could be heading towards a stoppage. That straight right unable to connect. A well-placed left hand up top. Good fundamental work landing the one-two there. Alvarez is almost looking foolish that timing is so badly. Able to dismiss it. Alvarez is getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. He's showing very good. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Oh, that uppercut got him badly. What a big shot. Menacing midsection shot there. Down he goes. to prepare for a situation like this but many do he's been down now he's got to survive so that's where you're wrong it's not hard to prepare it's a must to prepare if you're a trainer that's what you do in the gym you teach a guy if you're in this situation this is what you do you grab on you move your head you survive Wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. All right, all right. You are dominating this fight. He's got to find a way to get through the early goings here of this round. Remember last round, he went down. He was on the canvas. Now, look, he wants to tie his opponent up. That's the best way to get through it right now. But what he doesn't want to do, Joe, is to reach in there, you know, reach out to grab his guy, and then he leaves himself open. He's got to make sure that his opponent's close enough when he goes to grab him, he's not exposing himself to get dropped again. And 
Now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work. Ricardo Alvarez is... I can imagine throughout your career, you've been all over a lot of fighters for lack of movement. Yeah, it's very, very frustrating because you start to wonder, does he want to win the fight? That's what you start... He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. I shake it off. Alvarez is making for a tough target there. He gets away from that punch. Focus. Focus. Big uppercut right on the mark. Solid left hand to the head. And that's the end of round 10. Don't worry, Dad. Championship rounds are here. He's up big. Alvarez is only really concerned with making sure he doesn't get hit by a lucky punch. Well, exactly, Joe. It's the end of the night. The bartender just called last call. All he has to do is find his keys and go home. I'm wondering what the opposing corner is going to do here. They got to their man earlier. They were able to rock him. And really, nothing's changed. He's showing them the same exact look, the same exact style that he came here with. Well, first of all, the opponent should keep doing what he's doing. You know, you're landing, you found something that's working. Stay with it until he changes. Alvarez's strategy coming in was to land a lot of jabs. Teddy, you got to grade him out with an A. Maybe even an A plus, Joe. That plus is the right hand. Once the jab has been there, bang, the right hand came just when it was supposed to. Give him an A plus. Solid hook. <laughs> Alvarez's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work. Ricardo Alvarez is... Sending out the power shot. It was a straight left hand. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Alvarez. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. He pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Listen, don't let him steal this one. They put forth a good effort throughout. Now one more meeting. The final round is here. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Alvarez. Got to try to do better than that. He missed with that hook. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. That's a big right hand there. Big shot there. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? Um. over. Alvarez's hand to be raised in victory. He scores the knockout here tonight.
I don't know why we're always so shocked, but we just are. You'd think we'd learn by now that anything can happen. Here's a fight that is clearly heading to a decision, and just like that, it's over by knockout. Yeah, you need to go to sleep, take a sleeping pill, or do that. Stick your chin out, bang. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.